Greetings and welcome to the WikiWeb Help video demonstration. WikiWeb Help is a new kind of wiki designed specifically for help applications. As you can see, it has a layout similar to a standard desktop help viewer. You have your table of contents inside a split pane with your content over here. Split pane can resize to give you more or less viewing area on either side as you wish. And you have your contents tab index and search like you would have on a standard help viewer and some navigation buttons. Uh, in addition to your standard desktop viewer you have uh, breadcrumbs here and you have some wiki specific menus here that you would not find on your desktop application. So we go to our index tab. You can type in just like you would and select an item again very quickly comes up and we go to the page under that topic of history that we have chosen. And this index is created from tags that any user can edit. If we put tags for the page, history is in there that will add it to the index. If we go to a page that doesn't have that as a tag yet, we come up here, type in the word. history and update that. You can see, oh, I spelled it wrong. But you can see that it updated right there as you would expect. So the, ta the index is dynamically created by user content, which I want to get rid of my mess misspelling. But the important thing is here it's a, it's a live update and anybody can tag as they wish and we all get the same index to look and more easily find the content we are looking for. So we are in usage getting started. We can see that reflected in the breadcrumbs up above. And I can select the usage and navigate back to it. I can go back through several pages that we previously visited, visited with the navigation buttons. This is very handy if you are using it in a CM, uh, CMS system and you use it inside an iframe via a wrapper. If you hit your back button on your browser, you would go to the previous page in the content management system and not necessarily the previous page where you were on the help system. So that is essential if you're using it in a CMS system. Okay. Right now I'm at an editable page. I go down here, I have a page that I have locked out. You only have the source view option, so you can lock pages and they will be viewable but not editable. If I go into the source view, I can see that I have the view of the wiki markup up above and I have the formatted content below. As I scroll through, I can see how the wiki markup up above translates into your formatted content that will be displayed on the help page. So I go back to an editable page and hit edit. I get the same look, only now this time I can actually do some editing. I highlight some text, I go up to my toolbar, and I select option for bold. The wiki markup changed up here. The content changed live to bold text below. Make whatever edit I wish by just typing, and you'll see it immediately below. Make that italic and turn it italic. We also have inline styling from our text menu here that's this here text menu so you can see it and it puts in the proper tag we type in and we can see that now we have a red colored word below of demo okay you typed in some text you want to make that a link to something. You 
just highlight and again on the toolbar you have a menu for inserting links it will put in the wiki markup with the URL already selected so you can begin typing in the URL of the page that you want it to link to and you can see down below that the link was created as we hover over it and that would take us to it if we save this page and moved on. After you've edited and you want to be sure about the changes you made come down here hit the diff button again it's very quick you can see the changes on a word-by-word -word basis and you can see the additional text that was added here that is handy for just if you're not sure you've been editing for a while you can see that what you are going to be saving other than looking at the preview is it's just another way to verify that you actually did what you wanted to do that. Okay, we also can add pages by right clicking on any node. I right click, I get a menu of all my options for adding a node, removing a node, and what have you. Whatever I select will change this menu to the appropriately options for what I am able to enter for that type of action. So I type in the name of the page I want to add, hit the update button, and you can see I added this node of demo right before sandbox. And I come and rename this. Now you can see the tree is refreshed and you have the same page with the same content, but now it has the new name which we have just given it. And additionally, any changes that you make are recorded in a history. Collapse that splitter. Come up here to the menu above and choose history. You always see the diff view of your most recent change and then you'll see a list of other previous changes with an option to expand or collapse the diff by simply selecting it or you can do the same thing over here by clicking on the date you can show as many or as few as you want uh, you also have comments if a comment is entered you will also see that on the diff display and you have some navigating buttons to go to older history as you can see the last one was on July 13th if I go to the next page from there on I'm seeing the history from there on back so that's about it you can play with this demo by going to wikiwebhelp.org and selecting demo from the top of the page and you can download it by going to the bottom of the very welcome page on the wikiwebhelp.org site and at the very bottom, there is always a link to the most recent version. Thank you very much.